Hi everyone, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, is we are going to discuss one important question in threads concept. So, that is so why we cannot call run method explicitly. So, one very important question. So, mostly they will ask in the interviews. So, generally, so means what after defining a thread. So, if you want to execute the run method logic, generally we call a start method, right. So, on the thread object, instead of calling run method, we call start method. But see, whenever you call the start method, whenever you call the start method, internally it will execute run method logic only in a separate thread. Sir, why sir we need to depends on the start method? So, why cannot we call run method directly means, so remember one thing the run method inside the run method you will write only thread logic so whatever the logic you want to execute so concurrently so that only you will place inside the run method but actually to execute the thread nothing but to execute this logic in a separate thread space who will create that thread space have you written the logic in the run method to create the thread so no and so for a java programmer it's impossible right we have to learn so many concepts right and uh, means what so much stuff is required required to allocate the thread space instead of that so we depends on the start method why sir the start method is a predefined method start method is a predefined so what start method will do start method is having the predefined logic to allocate thread space and next uh, it will fetch nothing but it will collect the run method logic fetch run method logic so what logic you have written in the run method it will fetch it will fetch and uh, execute in the allocated space in the allocated space so means what start method is a predefined method it is available in a thread class so we know that it is a predefined is available in a thread class and here it is so what is that logic of a start method means so means what already they have written the logic to allocate the thread space separately so as a programmer as a java programmer so means what no need to write once again that how to allocate the thread space to execute the thread logic start method will take care of that sir suppose if i call run method directly then what happens so that run method executes just like a ordinary method in the current thread space only separate thread space will not be created very sure just write okay so here it is we need to depends on a start method only sir so means what if i write if I write the logic to allocate the thread space okay no problem but that is very expensive and it is very hard okay so that is why it is better to depends on the available source so what is that available store source is a calling start method to execute the thread logic okay so hope you understood okay for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you thank you all